Guys, I have not done a favorites video in like over two months, so what I'm gonna do today, um, and it's not like lack of me having favorites, it's lack of me having time to film these videos. <laughs> I feel like I haven't even sat down in this spot to film a video in forever. I think, well I did the, the wax one with Steven, but anyway, um, let's see. I had made a list and I wanted to make sure I grabbed everything. So what I'm gonna do is just do like a current favorites because it's already like halfway through June. <laughs> I really wanted to do a May favorites video but I didn't have time so I don't want to name this May favorites and have it be so late. So the first thing, and I didn't grab them because they're in the refrigerator, I wanted to talk about um, I actually don't know what the name of the brand is. <laughs> they make a, a vegan mayonnaise called Just Mayo. Um, but I don't think that's the name of the brand because they have a ranch salad dressing called Just Ranch. And they have Just Caesar too. So anyways, it's vegan and I didn't know that. <laughs> like, I bought this mayonnaise because I went to the store and needed mayonnaise. They were out of the one I usually get, so I grabbed this one. Um, and it tastes exactly like regular mayonnaise, but it's not made with eggs, so it doesn't have cholesterol and stuff in it. So, super awesome. I'm excited about that because I do not have high cholesterol, but heart problems run in my family, so I try to watch cholesterol and saturated fats and stuff. So, the fact that I found this, I'm like, this brand needs to make more vegan stuff and I will, <laughs> I will be able to eat more vegan stuff because like I've tried vegan cheese is really gross and I've tried like I've, I've tried to be like okay we're gonna eat vegan like three days a week try to be really good about it and be healthy and all that and I get so defeated because I buy vegan stuff and I'm like oh this is so gross <laughs> I like have to choke it down and then I just fall off the bandwagon but this stuff their mayonnaise is awesome I got the ranch dressing the other day, can't tell a difference, tastes exactly like ranch dressing. Um, so I'll stick like pictures up of what they look like in case you've never seen them. But I got them at Walmart so I assume that they sell them everywhere. Um, the next thing is this miracle product that I found and it's wet because it was in the shower. I have mentioned before that I have been struggling lately with like dandruff and super itchy scalp. I found that Dove makes, uh, and they say new, so they can't have been out that long. Is that proper English? <laughs> um, but it's Dove Dermacare Scalp Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. I got the Soothing Moisture one. They have, um, and conditioner, shampoo and conditioner. They have, I believe three kinds. Three. It could have been three or four kinds, but I got soothing moisture because my hair was feeling kind of dry too. And like, after the first time that I used this, the itch on my scalp went away. I don't have little flakes anymore. I dyed my hair black because I'm not afraid to, of having the white, uh, the white flakes everywhere anymore. And I have been loving this. Like, it smells really good. This is. I can't really pinpoint what it smells like but it's like fruity not it doesn't have co there was one that smelled like coconut but I opted to get this one because it's got a more like fruity scent to it so definitely if you have like dry itchy scalp the only thing that sucks is it's not like I don't think it's phthalate free and everything um, Yeah, it does have sulfates in it. So that's that's one mummer because for people who dye their hair like me, it kind of fades your hair color faster. But I did this like two, three weeks ago and I haven't noticed too much fading. So I do notice it wash out a little bit in the, uh, in the shower. But I will take having to dye my hair more often over having friggin' itchy scalp every single day. It was driving me insane. So I'm super excited that I found that stuff. Now the next thing, the new ColourPop pencil that I got for my eyebrows, I got the Brow Boss one which came out after their original ones. I don't see much of a difference in like the shape and how it applies or anything, but I got the color, uh, which, what is the color of this? Dark Brown. 
and it is the perfect shade for my eyebrows. I was using the Dope Taupe original eyebrow pencil that they had for the longest time and it was slightly too light. This is the perfect color so I'm so glad that they came out with this. It's like my new go-to for eyebrow pencils and I'm gonna have to order backups because I go through these really fast. That's the only downside of them. They're only like five six bucks but I go through them really quickly. So actually let me put it away before I lose the damn thing. Then another I'm like bouncing back and forth between hair care and skin care and stuff. I've, I had a sample, well it, it wasn't a sample, it was the same exact thing that I got sent to review and then I fell in love with it so I've been buying them. Um, this is the Neutrogena Deep Clean Purifying Wash Off Clay Mask, uh, Mineral Clay. I think this is the only kind that they have that comes in this little pod like this. But it says it's a single use mask but I can get like three uses out of this because there's so much in here. So this is like the third or fourth time that I've bought this. It just, it smells ridiculously awesome. It's got like a nice clean perfumey scent to it. I like scented face masks because they just like, they relax me. <laughs> I like when they have nice scents like that. Um, it's very, very thick and a little goes a long way. So like even coating your whole face in this, you can get three uses out of this easily because they it's filled like to the top. Um, but I really, really like this and thought I should mention it. I have tried the, like, the sheet masks too, and I'm not as big of a fan of those because they come in two separate pieces, which is really weird to me, and, like, you have to place the top half on and then the piece that goes around your mouth, and that piece does not want to stay still on me. Like, no matter what I do, it keeps wanting to slide down off my face, so that's kind of annoying. I like the clay mask better. And then the last thing is shameless self-promotion self because it is, I came out with some new eyeshadows for a Produce For Your Face and, actually I shouldn't have done it this way, these bottom six are my sparklers collection and I am in love with this Comet color. It looks like a light blue but then when it shifts it's got like purple in it and I don't know how well it's gonna show up on camera but I'll swatch it for you. This is just so pretty either all over the lid or in that if you put like a champagne on the lid and then this in the outer corner it goes really well. This is what this one looks like. I think you'll be able to see the color shift better in a swatch. Oh, if my camera wants to focus, when the light hits it, you can see the that purpley violet color. Lavender, I guess is a better word. So pretty. I love it. <coughs> so I had to shamelessly self-promote here. <coughs> then I had these two other ones. This one's Daybreak. This one is Rage. And then this one is a special one that's coming out in a collab box that I'm doing. I will swatch this one for you too. This one's for a Jason Voorhees box. So this one's called Campgrounds after Camp Crystal Lake. And I was looking at pictures from the movie and stuff to get inspired by it. And it, like the water is like murky green. So that is what inspired that color. Just thought I would give you a sneak peek. It's not available in the store yet because it's going to be in the box. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see me reposting about the boxes a lot. So that is where you can find info on that. And with that, that is it for my current favorites, I think. You know what? No, I did forget one thing that I wanted to add. And I talked about this uh, in the last haul video I did, but the ColourPop Fame palette, I have been using this every single day. This is such a great palette. If if you like cool toned neutrals, I highly recommend this. It's like this extravaganza color is the prettiest champagne metallic shade for all over the lid. And I like how it's set up because it goes from light to dark. You got the super dark shades down here and then they just gradually... I just really like this palette as a whole. Um, I can't say enough good things about ColourPop eyeshadows, like they're mattes are awesomely pigmented and they blend like a dream. The metallic ones are beautiful. They're all like super duper pigmented. 
love them love them love them this is like one of my favorite palettes that they've ever done and they have a ton I have just about every single palette that they've come out with and this is top three easy probably I could probably say this is my favorite I really love the um oh what's the name of the other one the all I see is magic palette that's probably up there too but I mean I've been using this one so much this one already has a little dip in it the extravaganza color I love it I've only had this for a few weeks and I've been using it every single day if not for my entire look at least one or two eyeshadows out of here I have it on today I have two eyeshadows from here so definitely recommend this one and that is it for my current favorites I might do videos like this from now on like if I forget to do a favorites video at the beginning of each month I'll just do like a current favorites um, let me know if you guys like that idea I have plans for other videos it's just a a problem of getting them filmed because like I have um, Aiden's gonna have a few weeks off before he starts his summer program at school but then that's gonna like suck up time because he's only going for four hours every day gets out at noon and he's doing his ABA therapy now which she's coming for like three hours at a time um, on the days that she comes so it's kind of weird for me to like film <laughs> with her in the house I just feel weird about it you know like in case she need like I don't have to sit there with them all the time but in case she needs something it's like oh hold on I'm filming a video I just feel weird about it so I hope you guys enjoyed this I will film when I can and get some new videos up other than just vlogs because hopefully you guys aren't getting sick of seeing my vlogs I only do one a week but they're usually long and I feel like I'm always complaining in them but that's the way I vent and get stuff out so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll talk to you next time